everyone and welcome to the news from Ashuruk TV. In our headlines tonight, Sudan that four armed groups agreed to unify talks on security arrangements. Sudan and Egypt call for legally binding agreement on Ethiopia's dam. Washington welcomes arrival of Ambassador Nouradine Sati. their negotiating positions on the security arrangements file. Head of the government delegation for the security arrangements, Defense Minister Major General Yassin Ibrahim, said that Khartoum is ready to complete the remaining file of the peace negotiations. He expressed his satisfaction about the negotiation session, in which several understandings have been reached with the Darfur track delegation on the security arrangements file. The Defence Minister further referred to his meeting with South Sudanese President Salfakir Mirdet in Juba, during which they addressed the importance of achieving peace in Sudan, given the direct impact of the developments in the region. Sudan and Egypt agreed that negotiations are the best way to solve the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam crisis and called for a legally binding agreement. Egyptian Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli was in Khartoum on Saturday, where he held a series of meetings with the Sudanese officials to discuss ways to enhance joint cooperation. He also reiterated Egypt's support for the transitional government and voiced his country's readiness to activate all the previously signed cooperation agreements, but frozen during the area of the former president, Omar al-Bashir. The two sides renewed their commitment to negotiations on the GERD filling and operation as the best way to achieve the interests of the peoples of the region and express their aspiration for the success of the negotiations under the auspices of the African Union, reads a statement released at the end of the visit. The two countries further stressed the need to negotiate a legally binding agreement on the filling and operation of the dam based on the Khartoum Declaration of Principles of 2015 and not to cause significant harm to other watercourse states. Sudan receives an Emirati plane carrying 24 tons of medical and food aid with urgent directions to the Sudanese people from His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the State and Ruler of Dubai, in support and contribution to eliminate the corona pandemic and relief for those affected by the floods and rain. Ambassador Hamad Al Junaidi affirmed that the UAE's support for the Sudanese people will continue and he pointed out that the Emirati aid to the Sudanese people exceeded in the last period 87 tons of aid in the medical and health fields. He stressed that the Emirati aid today comes in line with the assistance provided by the United Arab Emirates to the brothers in Sudan as well as an extension of the advanced relations of the two countries. The Prime Minister, Dr. Abdullah Hamdok, stressed the transitional government's interest in developing the agricultural sector in general and the Jazeera project in particular and working to overcome all challenges facing the project in order to play its role in supporting the Sydney's economy. This came when he met today in his office the Acting Minister of Agriculture and Natural Resources, Abdul Qadir Turkawi, and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Jazeera project, Dr. Sadiq Abdul Hadi, and the Governor of the project, Dr. Omar Mohammed Murzouk. Member of the U.S. Senate and the Foreign Relations Committee, Senator Cory Booker, has welcomed the arrival of Ambassador Nouradine Saati in Washington and his appointment as the first Sudanese ambassador to the United States after more than two decades. Booker said that the Congress has urged the U.S. President Donald Trump and the Secretary of State Pompeo to name a U.S. ambassador to Sudan to support the new civilian government. The Sudan Federal Ministry of Health has announced 82 new cases of coronavirus in addition to six deaths and 23 recoveries. As the new cases were recorded in Khartoum State 66, Jazeera 4, North State 9 and Red Sea 2 cases of coronavirus, while recovery cases were recorded according to the states in Khartoum 7, Jazeera 2, River Nile 8, Kassela 4 and Red Sea 2 cases. And now we remind you with the headlines. Sudan that four armed groups agreed to unify talks on security arrangements. Sudan and Egypt call for legally binding agreement on Ethiopia's dam. Washington welcomes arrival of Ambassador Nouradine Sati. That was everything for tonight. Thank you for following and see you tomorrow.